Today I'm going to show you how to do a tuck stitch on a knitting machine. It should apply to any standard knitting machine, but I have a bulky one that's uh, Brother 260. The tuck stitch, this is the back side, it's the pattern side. The front side looks just like a regular stitch. And this is a two color tuck. This is the front side. That's the back side. It depends on which pattern you use. It might not be the best choice for the two color tuck stitch. But this creates a nice pattern and it's very thick. And it doesn't roll much on the edges. I'm just going to follow the book from the brother knitting machine. It says use these few cards one, two, three, four, five, seven for the punch card. I have number A. It's a triangle pattern and you can turn like this. This is the beginning line. So when it begins you move the line here. That's how I do it. And that's how you connect together. Use a little thing here. That's how you connect them together. You put this and then snap in. This is the wheel you have to install. Let me take out this one first. This is the back side. Just push down this and you can move this to the front. You can push back like that when you are not using the tuck stitch. For tuck stitch you need to push it to the front and install these two wheels. You can remove this. And it has a right side and left side. It says L and R. I changed the yarn to this one. It's thinner, more standard, worst way yarn. The bulky yarn is too heavy for this machine. Okay, I need a few rows of regular stitches and a latch up to become some ribbon, two by one ribbon. On the left side, I have 17 stitches. The right side, I have 18. After a few rows of regular knitting, we change the carriage to KC. That will engage the patterning punch card. Make sure punch card is set up. And go back to the first row. This here, see the line? And uh, this dial goes down all the way. And then we can start knitting from left to right. Oops. Now all the needles are selected. Now make sure the brush is installed on the left side and right side and the wheel in the bottom is moved to the front and now we just select the tuck stitch here, tuck, both of them push in and then we just start knitting. Okay, I have about 200 rows like this and I have 9 rows of a regular stitch I'm going to latch up so it becomes a ribbon to match the beginning like that. 
and the other side looks just like a regular stitch it doesn't have much pattern but the back side it creates a very interesting pattern the edge is still rolling I have to block it and see if it gets better and maybe I have to do the crochet edge One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just latch up. Put it back to the hook and uh, every third needle push back one two three four five six seven nine I'm going to do a knitted bind off take the yarn off the carriage push the needle out the yarn in the hook just manually knit one stitch move it to the next needle move it all the way back 